खुफिया वीडियो देखने से पहले वीडियो को लाइक करें राहम टीवी चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन पर क्लिक करें शुक्रिया अस्सलाम वालेकुम व्यूअर्स नहमद हु व नसल्ली अला रसूलिल करीम अम्मा बाद डियर व्यूअर्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर तस्किया वर्कशॉप बीइंग हेल्ड इन न्यूयॉर्क एज यूजुअल अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह वी आर ब्लेस्ड इनफ टू गैदर हियर एंड यू नो लर्न मोर अबाउट द स्पिरिचुअलिटी एंड हाउ टू क्लेंस आवर हार्ट सो टुडे माय टॉपिक विल रिवॉल्व अराउंड द विजडम एंड वर्चूज ऑफ रिसाइटिंग कुरान मजीद व्हिच प्लेज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन अटेनिंग अ स्पिरिचुअलिटी कुरान मजीद द होली बुक इज द फाइनल एंड द फाइनेस्ट मैसेज फ्रॉम आवर लॉर्ड अल्लाह सुभान व तआला which dawned upon the mankind through the finest of his creations rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and it will remain in force in active status till the day of resurrection quran majid the holy quran the glorious quran describes itself as ummul kitab it is the mother book it embodies all other holy books that preceded it for example the 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 holy book of torah songs uh, uh, uh the gospel and uh, the 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 scrolls of ibrahim and musa alaihi salam so fi ibrahim wa musa all these the message of all those beautiful books are contained in this holy quran uh some of the miracles of the holy quran uh, which uh, which uh, have to be highlighted uh, one of them is that it is inimitable no human speech can ever match the eloquence the stylistics the linguistics and any other attribute of quran majid it is unmatchable it is unparalleled in its quality uh, other very very great miracle of the quran is it's incorruptible nobody can ever change its even a single dot this is the this is the this is the proof that it is a direct revelation from allah subhanahu wa taala and it is not a mankind it's not a man made thing never uh, the, the the third point uh, the third miracle it is of it is that it is never tiring it is never boring people have spent their ages never complaining about it being tired about it they have never been tired of it they never it's never a boring thing allah has removed that boredom and annoyity from it it is just refreshing every time you read and recite it uh other miracle is amazing that it its future predicting abilities are unmatched you know the way it has predicted that future modes of transportations will come how allah will protect his quran himself uh, through different tests and trials and also the rise and fall of empires they are all very accurately predicted in this uh, amazing uh, revelation from allah subhanahu wa taala so after discussing some of the miracles and the glory of quran i would go towards the virtues of reciting quran majid <coughs> reminds me of a beautiful hadith of um, hazrat ali radhiyallahu anhu in which he uh, oh, sorry huzur pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam in which he commands us directly to make surah mulk your friend look today we are looking for the friends in this world but rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is telling us to make surah mulk our friend because this one surah will intercede on our behalf it will protect us in our graves now this is only about one surah what about the whole quran how much it will protect you on the day of resurrection its intercession its intercession will be non rejected by allah subhanahu wa taala it will not be rejected by allah subhanahu wa taala it is such a powerful book and a miracle that allah has given us rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in another hadith mentions to the fact that the best form of worship for my mankind for my nation is the recitation of the holy quran in one hadith qudsi allah subhanahu wa taala dawned upon his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the message that the one who kept reciting quran majid and he did not get enough time to pray for himself to ask uh, supplications to me i will give him more than to the person who was just making supplications and he was missing out on quran majid so this is the this is the power of quran majid that allah taala sends you special uh, acceptances and acknowledgments uh, even without you asking for more duas hazrat ali radhiyallahu anhu uh, in one of his beautiful narrations mentions uh, and he tells us his condition of his heart that whenever feel like i want allah to talk to me 
I recite Quran Majid. So basically, when you are reciting Quran Majid, it is Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala talking to us. Now coming to some of the rules, because this is such a holy and grandeur book, right? Uh, there are some rules pertaining to use it, pertaining to using it, and pertaining to reciting it. We can't just open like any other regular book and start reciting it. The more love, the more respect, the more honor you show it physically, the more love of this book will come down in your hearts. So there are, you know, uh, mashayikh and ulama have categorized the rules of reciting Quran Majid into two categories broadly. One is the apparent rules for reciting Quran Majid and the other is the inner rules or inner, uh, inner uh, aspects of reciting Quran Majid. One of the first apparent rule how to, how to recite Quran Majid is that you start with complete humility and you start with with your physical body showing total respect towards this great book of Quran Majid. Uh, by that I mean you start by cleaning, by cleansing yourself, cleaning your uh, clothes, uh, make, making pro proper wudu, with, and start sit down with calm and dignity, facing Qibla uh, in complete humility, and then open the holy book of Quran and start reciting with proper uh, allocution, pronunciation, and with proper stops and breaks wherever is needed. Now when you show this physical effort and love towards the glory, the glorious book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah, the, 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 the in, inner love of this book will start descending in your heart. Sayyidina Ibn Abbas says that it is better for me to recite short surahs like Surah Qadr and Surah Qariya uh, with understanding rather than reciting longer surahs of Baqarah and uh, Al Imran without understanding it. So make every effort to understand and love the Quran as much as, we, as you can. Uh, uh, another apparent rule or you know the, the Zahiri Adab of the of reciting a Quran Majid is to have a desire in your heart to attain more benefit to attain maximum benefit of reciting Quran you know there are four levels of rewards that you get by reciting Quran Majid and our effort and desire should be to reap the maximum benefit of reciting Quran Majid we are sent down here to trade this lowly world for the gains of the world hereafter you know, and a smart person is one who tries to get and reap the maximum benefit of this uh, worldly deals, right? So what about the maximum benefit of the actions for the hereafter? We should, we should again strive for getting the maximum benefits for the, for the hereafter as well. So Allah has given us these, you know, great opportunities through which we can get the maximum benefits. For example, uh, regarding Quran Majid, how you can get the maximum benefits, Hazrat Ali Razi Allah says that uh, there are four categories uh, of uh, getting the reward of uh, reciting Quran. The maximum award of reciting Quran is when a person is reciting Quran in his Salat, in his Nawafil Salat or first Salat while standing. That, in that, in that posture, he is getting reward of 100 uh, good deeds. And now, if the same person is reciting Quran Majid uh, in his Salat, inside his Salat, while sitting down, is getting half of that, which is 50, reward, uh, 50 good deeds. And if, the, if a person is uh, reciting Quran Majid outside his Salat, without, uh, uh, sorry, with Wuzu, he is getting 25 good deeds. of rewards. And if he is reciting outside of Salat without any Wuzu, he can still do it, but he will get only 10 good deeds, which is a uh, more you know, famous and common riwayat which, that we all describe. Uh, and thirdly, uh, the, uh, the other you know, apparent rule of reciting Quran Majid is that you should be mindful and careful about the quantity and amount of uh, recitation that you do. Try not to finish Quran Majid in less than three days. It is described as makruh and it is not mustahab. It is not liked by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam for any common person to finish Quran Majid in, in, in an amount of less than three days. Because in that 
uh, duration, if you try to rush yourself to finish Quran Majid in less than three days, you are prone to make mistakes and errors, which can be fatal and which can land you in more trouble rather than getting the reward. So the, the minimum amount of time in which you can finish the Quran Majid is three days and that is considered the highest level of doing it. Um, the moderate level is to finish one Quran every week and the low, lower level is considered as to finish one Quran in one month. Now coming to some of the inner aspects uh, and inner, inner uh, etiquettes uh, of uh, reciting Quran Majid. You know, just like uh, we have the glory and reverence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our hearts most of the time, uh, and it only increases when we look at the creation of his entire universe. Uh, we look at the grandeur of the universe, we look at his throne, his seat, his pen, his uh, tablet, and all other creations that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created in this world, which we see or not see. Uh, we are bound and we can't help thinking about the one who has created all that. So imagine uh, about the Quran that who, the, that the Quran came out of the holy mouth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. What a glory and what a grandeur this holy book will carry with itself, which came out directly from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have that honor, respect and grandeur in your heart. That way you will be able to start loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well. <clears throat> so in order, uh, so understand this, that you know, whenever you have to touch Quran, you have to physically uh, do some uh, wuzu, you have to do, you have to purify yourself and cleanse yourself. Similarly, if you if you have to if you have to allow your heart to be touched by quran you have to clean, purify and cleanse your heart you cannot touch quran with dirty hands similarly your heart cannot be touched when the heart is dirty it has to be cleansed it has to be cleansed of all the you know evil thoughts and evil behaviors that we are inculcating in ourselves and once we get that um, you know moral elevation then our heart will start to understand the, the deeper meanings of Quran Majid. Therefore, who has a corrupted heart and habits of ill manners will never be able to receive the deeper understanding of Quran Majid. And lastly, uh, the, 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 another you know, very important etiquette is that if you have the understanding, uh, if Allah has given you the understanding of the words and the meanings of Quran Majid, then, then don't rush towards reading more and more. You have to you have to uh, pay attention and understand every word before moving on. That's why Hazrat Ali Anhu, the gateway of knowledge and wisdom, uh, said in one of his uh, Mubarak hadith uh, that what good is reciting the Quran when you are not understanding it? He gives a very clear message to all of us that do not rush yourself to read more and more of the Quran without understanding it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the love and uh, uh, love uh, to understand Quran and act upon its uh, orders.